Hello everybody. I'm here with the Highfield Boat Sport 700 and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about hull form, hull design, hull shape. Some of the phrases that you hear and you read on the forums and you see online you might be slightly unsure about. I'll give you an idea of why this Sport 700, which is actually based on our Patrol 660 hull, is one of the best riding ribs in its class. It's an incredibly agile, incredibly safe boat. Gives you a very good ride. Now, the first thing that you'll read about online, a lot of people will mention it, is the dead rise angle. Now, the dead rise angle is actually the V angle of the hull. But crucially, that dead rise angle is measured at the transom, at the back end of the boat, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you have a, a dead rise angle of 20 degrees, 22 degrees, 24 degrees, or 26 degrees. The most important part of the hull is the angle of attack. Now, if you can imagine the angle of attack slicing like a knife through the chop, through the waves, okay? If you have a 24 degree dead rise angle at the back of the boat, but you have a very shallow, nose area then the boat will slam the boat will slam in the waves you can see with this patrol hull here it's immensely sharp it's the sharpest in its class and you would notice that when you're running over the chop the bow of the boat just slices through that chop which means that the dead rise angle which on this boat is 26 degrees is allowed to do its job and that job is to give you an extremely soft ride a really supple ride comfortable place to sit for hours on end the other thing you hear about is chines and spray rails. Now on this hull, we have both, okay? So you can see from the keel up, the first thing we have is a single spray rail here. Not as aggressive as our chine, but a spray rail nonetheless. And this spray rail actually deflects around about 35 to 40% of the spray of the water before it hits this first chine. So if you can imagine as the bow comes into the water after it's been on a wave, 40% of that water is deflected away before it hits here. Okay, so this means that you have a drier ride and you have a more supple ride and it gives you an awful lot more lift uh, when the boat is running at speed, which is important, uh, important in calm conditions when you want to maximize performance. You'll notice on our patrol hull, sport hull, that we have two aggressive chines here, okay? And those chines are designed to blast the spray away from the boat to keep you guys dry when the conditions get nasty. They also give you immense grip when you throw the boat into a turn. This boat will never give out in a turn. You could throw it into turns as hard as you want to. It will never give up. Okay, so this, the ability of this hull is really quite amazing. So if you come backwards, you can see that that angle of attack in the bow becomes slightly shallower the further aft you come. And that's also an important point when you're talking about dead rise. You will see here the angle at the stern is much shallower than the angle in the bow, but it's still 26 degrees, which is very deep actually, very deep in the rib world. You'll notice again, we've continued our chines, our large flat chine surfaces, which will blast the spray away, give transom lift, help this boat get up and run. You'll also notice what we've done here is we built in a stern planing pad. That's just a V area that goes forward, goes almost the full length of the keel. And what that means is that when you do throw the boat into an extremely tight turn, instead of it snapping back on you at the end, if you push the boat too far, it will just slide. So it'll be ultra safe, ultra stable. It won't try and hurt you no matter how hard you push this hull. This is designed just at the very limit of the grip of the boat. It's designed to allow the back end just to slide. And that is an massive safety feature. Again, you can see the strength of this hull. You can see that we, we build in plates actually for your transducer so you don't have to drill into the hull itself. You can see our self-draining scuppers. Now, some boats will tell you they're self-draining. You have to ask the question, are they self-draining at rest? This is self-draining at rest. What that means is the water line, when the boat is sitting on its own, the water line will be around about here. That means any rainwater that comes in the boat when you're on a mooring comes straight out of the scupper. Some boats will tell you they're self-draining, but the water line will be here. 
That means they will only self-drain when you're moving forwards. That's critical for any of you that have them on a mooring, on a swinging mooring, when the, when the rain is coming. It's really important to have a self-draining boat and you need the water line here. And here we have our little storage pocket for our drain bung. That means that when you're trailing the boat, you're not gonna lose this, not gonna bounce along the road. Again, so from a hull design point of view, there is an awful lot more to it than just reading a dead rise angle on a forum.